Hi, I'm Timothy W. McDunn. I teach music theory and composition at Wheaton College, and this is the Archinovica. The Archinovica is what's known as a digital augmented instrument. Digital because it makes use of a digital keyboard and a computer. Augmented because it extends the capabilities of a traditional instrument. In one sentence, here's what the instrument does. It algorithmically alters the tuning of a keyboard based on what the musician plays, allowing the use of just intonation in music that changes keys. Let me break down what this means. The Archinovica uses a system of tuning known as just intonation, which has actually been a part of musical practice for centuries in the West and around the world. By many, it's considered the most beautiful and natural method of tuning because it derives from the overtone series, a sonic phenomenon that naturally occurs due to the way sound waves vibrate. In a sense, just intonation is more in tune than standard tuning. The chords and intervals sound more resonant and more pure. Starting in the 20th century, just intonation, or J.I., was supplanted by a system of tuning known as equal temperament, which is now the standard approach. Equal temperament makes compromises with the way notes are tuned so that they are actually less pleasing to the ear. The reason equal temperament gained currency was because it allowed us to change keys without sounding wildly out of tune. You see, the problem with traditional approaches to J.I is that it starts to sound grossly out of tune if the music moves into a distant key. The Archinovica lets musicians and composers have the best of both worlds, the purity of J.I. and the agility to change keys without sounding out of tune. It does this via a computer algorithm that actually alters the tuning of the keyboard on the spot as the musician begins to change keys. This means, unlike a traditional keyboard, which has only 12 notes, an Archinovica can actually produce a theoretically infinite number of notes. The notes are subtly altered as the music explores an infinite harmonic landscape, which was never accessible before the advent of modern computation. One way the instrument can be used is to build these beautiful geometric figures called fractals in the theoretical tuning space it uses. Fractal geometry was only discovered in the mid-1970s, but it's also a part of nature. Fractals can be found, for example, in the self-similar structure of ferns or tree branches. You can hear how a fractal pitch structure produces a sense of organic coherence in the harmony even amid infinite diversity and variety. Because the instrument is digital, it can actually use whatever timbres and colors you can dream up. It sends MIDI or OSC data to a synthesizer of your choice to produce sounds that are perfectly in tune. The Archinovica actually intimates a need for new theories of pitch. What is A natural, for example? If it's two cents higher, is it still a natural? What if it's two cents higher than that? The ear seems to accept small alterations to a pitch without placing it in an entirely different category. But does this mean every pitch is a natural? Or is there some hard and fast dividing line between categories of pitch that's just difficult to perceive? The essence of pitch, if there is one, may actually be more contingent and context-dependent than we often assume. More work needs to be done in this area of inquiry to establish a theory of pitch that can adequately account for the experience of this music. <laughs>